This video is sponsored by PCBWay. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Modern Hobbyists. You might remember in a previous video, I used some foam insulation panels to make crazy speakers for my home office. Now, I may be slightly biased, but I think that project turned out awesome and it got me wanting to create a new type of speaker. But since this time I probably have way too much stuff on my walls, I decided to make this portable Bluetooth speaker instead. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. Let's get started. So like many things in my life, this project was inspired by my childhood. As a 90s kid myself, I was around for the sort of later half of the boombox era, and although I never had one of my own, I always wanted one. For some reason, that old nostalgic feeling of having a giant speaker to annoy all my neighbors with never fully left my system. So I decided to try to recapture some of that old nostalgia with this build, only since I live in the country, I don't have any neighbors anymore, so I guess I'll have to annoy my wife with it. I started off by modeling the entire speaker in Fusion 360, and this turned out to be a great idea for several reasons. Not only did I get a chance to improve my modeling skills, but I also got to see how the finished speaker would look before I actually built it. So the plan is to have the main frame of the speaker be made out of 20 by 20 millimeter aluminum extrusion, and the sides to be made out of five and a half millimeter acrylic panels. If you happen to have a miter saw with a non-ferrous metal blade, then you could actually save a little bit of money by cutting the aluminum extrusion yourself. I don't have a miter saw, so rather than cutting it by hand, I decided to order them pre-cut from a company called Misumi. It was a little bit more expensive, but I think it was worth it in the end to get an accurate cut over the terrible shaky cut I probably would have done by hand. Another note is that acrylic probably isn't the best choice for a speaker box since the speakers might cause it to flex at higher volumes, but given the relatively small size of the panels and the fact that I went with the thicker five and a half millimeter acrylic, I don't think that will affect the sound quality too much, if at all. Plus for this project, being able to see the internal electronics of the speaker is a must, so acrylic is really the only practical option for me. The frame itself will be held together by 3D printed corner brackets along with some low profile M5 screws and all the electronics will mount onto a tray that will also be 3D printed. The plan is to cut all of the holes out of the acrylic on my Snapmaker CNC, which I think should be sturdy enough to perform the cuts, but if not, then I can always cut it by hand with a coping saw if needed. For the speakers, I went with four inch pile speakers that are each four ohms, and I selected a two channel amplifier that has Bluetooth built in along with volume, treble, and bass control. Now I'm using a 12 volt, three amp battery pack to power it, so the speakers definitely won't get up to the full volume that they're capable of, but I've tested it and it should be more than loud enough for my purposes. On that note, to keep with the theme of exposing the internal electronics, I did decide to take the case off the battery pack so I could see the actual cells inside it, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that unless you're very careful or you really know what you're doing. I mean, not that I do, I mean I pretty much make everything up as I go. Now, you might be saying to yourself, dang, this is the coolest project I've ever seen, but I don't have a 3D printer or a CNC machine, so how can I make it? Well, that's where today's video sponsor, PCBWay, comes in handy. PCBWay is a company that specializes in prototyping and small volume production, making it the perfect one-stop shop for all your do-it-yourself project needs. Using their online tool, you can upload your 3D model, select the material and color you want, and one of PCBWay's engineers will put together a quote for you, and you'll receive your part in three to four business days. Now, even if you own your own 3D printer like me, well, actually, I've, I think I have five of them now, PCBWay can still help you out as they offer multiple different prototyping services, including CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and most importantly, PCB manufacturing. All you have to do is upload a Gerber file, select your design settings, and get 10, 10 custom PCBs for only $5. They offer several kinds of PCB, including flexible ones, and they also offer assembly services. So you can skip the hassle of soldering by ordering your PCBs to come pre-assembled with any components you might want. 
Make sure to check them out from the link in the description below so you can take your electronics projects to the next level. Huge thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. And with that, this speaker is done. I now have my very own Bluetooth boombox with bass and treble control built in, 
as well as the option to use an auxiliary input source instead of Bluetooth. The battery circuit also has pass-through charging, so I can use this speaker while charging the battery, and I can turn it off with this super slick looking power button. I honestly love how this project turned out. It looks awesome, it sounds awesome, and most importantly, it's sturdy. I mean, it probably weighs 15 pounds and it's solid as a rock, so it might not actually be a bad idea just to carry it around for self-defense, or you can get a pretty good workout in too. Now, in case you wanna give this project a shot, I'll have all the parts and instructions for how to build it down in the description below. Also, let me know in the comments what you liked about this project or if there was something I could have done differently to make it better. And of course, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Otherwise, that's all for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.